Administrator, uh, welcome again. Thank you. Thanks for the conversations we've had uh, over a, a period of time. Um, I wanted to highlight for you uh, that uh, I met with President uh, Lopez Obrador uh, of Mexico on a bipartisan, bicameral congressional delegation to Mexico City uh, last month. Uh, I think he and I had a promising discussion about uh, addressing synthetic, synthetic opioids that are flooding across our, our southern border. My request of him is that uh, we would do more to fight guns going to the south. Could he ask China to uh, eliminate the precursor chemicals that are coming from China to Mexico? Uh, he indicated he was willing to do that. My understanding, at least from press reports, is that he has made that request in writing with China, um, with the Chinese government. Perhaps it's a development that uh, has some benefit, but the fact remains that uh, our two countries have had its cha our challenges in, in cooperation in the drug wars. Uh, and um, I know the DEA remains significantly constrained in its capabilities or its uh, abilities to uh, operate uh, in a way that you wish they could uh, within those borders. Um, anything that would confirm that, that China has, uh, will uh, abide by the request of the president from Mexico and give me an understanding of the state of affairs between drug enforcement in the United States and the situation in Mexico. Thank you, Senator. And, and I think it's really important to start the conversation on China because that is where this problem largely begins today. The vast majority of precursor chemicals that are going to Mexico and being made into fentanyl powder, as you note, are coming from China. We recently, in the Chapitos case, part of that indictment charges four Chinese nationals with and a chemical broker from Guatemala with sourcing those chemicals to make fentanyl for the Chapitos, the leaders of the Sinaloa cartel right now. And importantly, in, in those charges, in those allegations, we have um, included information that one of the Chinese nationals said that they knew that those chemicals were going to be used for fentanyl and also that they were going to hide th what those chemicals were in order to ship them out. So we have called on China to stop the shipment of precursor chemicals to Mexico as well. And we are, right now, for over a year, we have not had law enforcement cooperation with China. So we do have offices in China. We continue to try to work there because we believe it's vital to attack the entire supply chain. Right now, we're doing a network-wide approach that is looking at every piece. So we are targeting the Chinese precursor chemical companies as part of our work. Those chemicals now going into Mexico my deepest concern, Senator, is that there is no limit on the amount of fentanyl or methamphetamine that the cartels can make beyond those chemicals. So that is the only limit right now. And so we must urgently work at that point. In terms of Mexico, we are very much looking to continue to work with Mexico and Mexican law enforcement. They recently arrested Ovidio Guzman, one of the Chapitos, which we thought was an important step forward. And of course, last year, they arrested RCQ. We do now want them to work with us together. We have 16 additional Mexican nationals who have not yet been arrested as part of the Chupitos investigation. It's vital to us. We have seven folks in custody, but it's vital to us that we get everyone that's a part of that case extradited eventually to the United States to stand justice in a court of law here. Well, I was pleased to see that the Mexican president uh, did what he told me he would do, which was to make that request I don't know what the Chinese response will be, and uh, you've made that request. I guess you haven't had a response, or nothing's changed since you made that request, I assume. Yes, Senator, we have not had, we have not had a response, um, but we will continue to do the work we're doing and to target these uh, largely unregulated chemical companies in China. Uh, I spent time with DEA agents when I was in Mexico, and I uh, admire and respect their work.